Kenshiro? <laughs> of course, the boy of Hokuto is all grown up. You are a boy no more. You're a man. What's up, fellow collectors? P. Rock's Little back again for another review. And today, we're taking out a rare little oddball figure. This is a figure from one of my favorite animes as a kid, even to this day. Even though watching it again, the art does not hold up. It still is one of my favorites just for the characters in there and then the whole environment, the dystopia of the freaking world. And this is the Fist of the North Star Thouser. Or he has Souther. He has like three different names that he normally goes with the animes and the mangas. So this is the name they chose to use. And this is from the Super Action Statue Company or series, I'm sorry. And I think it's, Me I keep forgetting, is it? it's not Medicon, it's Medic something. I I'll make sure I put it. In the description, and also I'll bring it up here on screen real quick, the name of the company, because I always get it confused with Medicom, but it's not Medicom. But anyways, this is a line that I kind of wanted to pick up. Uh, they are more of the like the JoJo Bizarre Adventure type animation or, or, or form. So some of the characters did come out like look a little different from what I used from what I'm used to seeing when I was a kid watching the anime and the cartoon. Um but I wanted to get these figures because there's not many representations of this version of the figures from basically any line, like three, like you know, any uh, scale. So basically, wanted to pick this up because Fist of the North Star, like I said, is one that is dear to my heart, and I do tend to collect Fist of the North Star figures. I do have the one six scale Medicom ones, and I do have the other ones from this line, which I will use in some of the final dis final poses at the end. But this is a figure. Not too fond of this character, but I wanted to get it to kind of make sure the line is somewhat complete. And this guy right here, he was an a-hole in the cartoon. So let's see how he stands in figure form. So with that in mind, let's get this review started. Dale! What's up, fellow collectors? <laughs> Now let's take a look at the box before we get the figure out the box. Now this box obviously has a bunch of foreign letters in there. So I can't read everything obviously, but you get the super action statue here. You can see the little window with the figure there. I always am a sucker for these foil letterings. I love that. Thousand right there. Fist of the North Star. Then you get a nice picture of the actual figure there. Never really too fond of these little like showing crotches right there. So... I say, I say the same, you know, no matter what line, you know, Hot Toys, you know, Spider-Man 2099, same thing, so it doesn't matter to me. Uh, right here in the back, you get all the accessories that's shown right here, different of the swappable face sculpts, and some of the cool poses you can get this character in. Right here is another picture, same picture right there. In the bottom, you get all, I guess, just, I'm thinking this is like legal information, you can't read that, so don't take my word on it. And then right in the top, right there. Boom. All right, let's go ahead and get Thouser out the box. So now when you get Thouser out the box, let's get the box out the way. You are agreed with two layers of a clamshell. So you got the top layer, which basically you take off and it has the figure. The, most of the accessories, swappable hands and heads. You got it right there, you know, little blast effects right there. And then on the bottom tray, pretty bright so you can't really see it too good. But you have his spear, the sword. And I do admit, their, their freaking stands are weird as heck. I'm not a big fan of them, but... I'll show you guys in this review why I'm not a big fan of them. Hopefully, they change it a little bit, but we shall see. And below there, you have the instructions, which I cannot read. All right. Let's go ahead and get him out the packaging so we can see everything he does come with in fine detail. With Thousand laid out and all his accessories laid out with them, let's take a close look at everything that comes in the package in fine detail. And first of all, as always, let's start with the figure first because we always have to see... If the figure looks like the character we wanted to buy and have in our collection. And like I said with this one, uh, this line right here is a little bit different from what you see in the video games, in the mangas, and in the anime. Um, it's a little bit, I guess, I'm, like I said, I'm not 100% sure, but it's a little bit different. And it does look pretty accurate, at least the face-wise. That's Thousand right there. Um, I like the color pad they kind of picked for him. With the purple and the gray, that's different. The nice gold painting on the knee pads and across the belt and the rest of the outfit looks very good. Love the way that looks right there, the detail. 
The muscle deep definition is awesome also. Now, like I said before, if you see my other reviews of this line right here, I'm not a huge fan of these shoulder joints, whatever you want to call them. They kind of remind me of the um, Mafex ones where it gives you a super amount of articulation, but it's just my OCD sees it. So when I see something like this, like for instance, using them like this is fine. But if I have them posed like in the angle you see, I kind of want that cover. So I kind of want to do stuff like this sometimes when I hold them, pose them. Just to hide those joints. But it does give you a good range. Why am I talking like freaking this dude from Bunny, Bugs Bunny, the semi Sam? You way we bet we care for. Anyway, so yeah. So it looks like him. The detail is there. Love the way to shade the shading on the pants. You see like, it's like a lighter gray with a darker gray on the inside. That's very cool right there. I like that. The purple shine on there on the boots is good too. I, I just like the way this character looks. Like I said, I'm not a fan of him. But I like the way he looks, and I'd like to have most of the villains, too, in my Fist North Star collection. All right, so let's look at the articulation. You know, it kind of reminds me of Vega a little bit, especially when you have this mask right here attached to him. It gives me that Vega vibe. Maybe that's why I like him so much. All right, so let's go ahead and chest the head. So he could do the 360, but you guys know I don't do that often because I've had bad issues in the past with that. He can go sideways. You do get some articulation at this neck right here, but you can see it's kind of... Crooked on mine, but you do get two points of articulation at the lower neck and at the upper neck where the head attaches. So he can look up a decent amount. The hair does get in the way. He could look down very good, but as you see, because that mine's is a little angle, it's a little crooked, so I got to mess with that. But he could look very down, which is good. Let's see the arms. The arms, you could get fully. Uh, let's see if I get this one. You got to Sometimes you got you got to mess around with these joints. They kind of push in, push out. But you do get the T pose right here, as you can see. You do get the T pose. Looks a little weird. You do get double joint. I mean, double bend at the elbows. So you get double joint right there, double joint at the elbows. So you could get a nice pose right there. Now the only thing is you don't get swivel at the bicep like most figures. The swivels at the shoulder. But when you do that, you see that ugly thing right there, man. That's not that's not cool. I don't like that. So definitely can't have him flexing his muscles and showing those that weird armpit. All right, so you do get there. Let's see. That's yeah. So you don't get no twist. You can see the joint. They gotta be careful because as you try to twist this, you see that joint opening up a little bit. So these do feel a little fragile, but I have not. I mean, I kind of would had one break on me yet. But you don't get any twist at the elbow either. So everything is basically at the form, which kind of you know it's all right. All right, and then let's see the other arm. Right there. Let's see how far forward this arm can go. You can go all the way up. As you can see, all the way up. Do a full 360 also with the arms. So that's decent. Let's bring these back up. Let's see the waist. So the waist, he does have articulation at the upper or the lower chest. He can, he does, it seems like he has a little bit at the waist. But he could look far, like arches back, way back. That's a real cool. He does have an awesome ab crunch. The articulation at the waist and chest here is awesome. The legs are these ones you pull out. All right, so you gotta. So when you first get this, you gotta kind of push down a little bit. But he could do some of a split, as you can see right here. The legs can go pretty far forward and not much far back because his buttocks kind of blocks that. This is not a manual plastic, it's a hard plastic, so you don't really get much articulation going backwards, as you can see right here. So he could do the Hogan boot, though. He could definitely do the Hogan boot. What you gonna do, brother? So yeah, he could definitely do that. And let's look at the knees. So the knees, you do get double bend the knees. This is like a little floating joint in there, or a little floating piece in the inside of the joint. So that's pretty cool. What I do like about that is it hides the, the, the joint at the knee. This is something Figma could definitely uh kind of, you know copy or something but that looks pretty cool i like the way that bends so you definitely could do the flying knee so that's good right there with articulation uh let's see does he get twist nope same thing as the sh as the, sh the arm you only get twist at the upper thigh way up at the waist you don't oh you get twisted knees at least see right here to give you twisted knees it should give you twisted the elbow here but you get twisted the knees here as you can see that joint is different from the elbow and then you get twist at the ankle you get some type of pivot you can put the feet barely up but he does have the bending toes i like those and then you can go pretty far down 
All right, just Thousand with the articulation and the way he looks in figure form. And this guy looks pretty cool, man. That smirk right there. Like, yeah, man, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? You don't want to have this. But yeah, he looks cool. The paint application on him is awesome. I love the way the shine on the purple and the gold. He's growing on me. He's growing on me. His elbow doesn't want to go back more. Here we go. What the hell? So this is... All right, so that's a little issue with the elbows. You can see there. It seems like his arms cannot really go straight. Because that elbow right there is rubbing against the plastic there. But yeah, some pretty good articulation, some limitations. But for what you get for this figure, it's pretty good. All right, so let's look at the different head sculpts. So he does have this one. This one is somewhat similar to this one. And the reasoning behind that is if you notice this one right here, he has a little Clark Kent bang there. This one doesn't. What that's for is this freaking Vega mask. I, I know it's not, he was before Vega. I'm just saying, this reminds me of Vega. I just go call the Vega mask. This cool ass mask right here, if you see, it has a little peg right there. That plugs into this one right here. So this head sculpt is made directly to be used with this mask and then you basically just pick it in there and there you go he has the mask on definitely gonna be using this in one of my final i might just have him display with this man i don't know but he does come with some cool extra head sculpts this is the action pip the action one where he's like yelling i'll definitely use this in the final pose but not in my final display when i have a display mines mines will probably be either with the mask on or with this devious laugh He's like, ha, 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 ah, yeah, that devious laugh, that's cool, right there. I like that. Now, hair is, you know, sculpted pretty good there, I like the way it waves through there. And the colors on these characters, these figures actually pop really good, on, you know, when you have them in hand. Alright, so he does come with some weapons, he does come with a spear. The spear does have the nice metallic paint on there, it does look like metal, but it's definitely plastic. It has paint all across here. On the wood portion, right there at the end of the spear, he does have the sword, which is beautifully painted also with the little gem there, gem here. Has a nice shine, the metallic shine on it. That's cool. He does come with two hand effects. These are cool, the transparent ones. So the way these work, this is one thing I do like about this line. The way this works is, on other lines, let's say, for instance, Mezco, normally they would have you have Take the hand like this, and normally you would slide this over the hand, but these are made to be pegged in. You see the peg joint right, the peg hole right there? You peg these in directly into the figure, and it gives it that nice transparent look when you have a display, especially when you have lights hitting at the right angle. So this, this I do like. I think they, they did it for Kinshiro too with his uh, punching fist thing. So I do like this. These are cool. And then you do get different hands on his. For some reason, this one here has like the white veins on there. I'm not sure why. But this is a separate hand. You get two of the open hands. You see the nice detail on the veins right there. Then you get two closed fists. Or I'm sorry, uh, weapon hands. He has the closed fist on him already. These are two of his little art form or art style type hands right here. And that's pretty much about it. Last but not least, you do get this weird face. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of this. Uh... Wish they could do something better, but we'll see if I have to use it in my final displays or final poses. I'm sorry. All right, so there's everything that comes with Thouser in the package, and we took a nice, fine, detailed look at everything that came in here. So let's go ahead and get a size comparison started. So there we have Thouser standard default pose rate for size comparison. So let's go ahead and bring some figures, one within the same line and others within different lines, just in case you have any of these figures in your collection and you can see size wise how he would fit in your collection. So of course, let's go first. And this is Jaggy from the same line and the Fist of the North Star. This is Kinshiro's brother, the one that impersonated the Fist of the North Star. Then let's bring in the SH Figure Arts, Naruto Itachi. One of the coolest characters in the anime. Too bad, you know, he passed away and stuff like that. You know, no spoilers. The anime's been around for a long time, so I don't want to hear spoilers. Then... Just because it's popular right now, let's go ahead and bring in the Mayfex, Miles Morales. Here we got Miles. And last but not least, let's bring in another Miles Morales. And this is going to be the Hot Toys Miles Morales, 1-6 scale. Oop, don't follow me. So there we go. 
nice size comparison with different figures from different lines and different sizes so just so you can see how Thouser will fit in your collection. All right, now that we got this out of the way, let's go ahead and do the final thoughts and final poses. All right, so I was successful in getting Thouser in this pose that he's iconically known to be in when you see him in the video game, and I'm pretty sure in the books too, possibly the anime. I, I'm trying to recall my memory's getting, you know, it's, getting, it's going away from me. It's going away from me a little. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm human. But anyways, not my chair. I probably have to reach out to Bob Dunn and see if he has a contact for 112 scale chairs, but I was able to find a chair in my daughter's room. Uh, and actually use it with this figure, and he actually fits into it perfectly, as you can see with the hand on the rest. He has the other elbow on right there, leaning against the chair to hold up his smiley face. I wanted to get the laughing face because I want to make sure in each final pose, I have him display with a different hand scope than he does come out the box. And the legs was a little challenge getting in there, like crossing the legs and everything. But I was able to get it, and man, does this look cool right here. He looks so comfortable, like he's just having a good old time. The only thing missing is me, you know, a drink, maybe some like, you know, something green, like a plant or something like that next to him. But definitely, definitely a very, very poseable figure. Um, the wrists actually do pose way more than I thought they did originally when I went through articulation. You just have to twist them the right way. That's my mistake, rookie mistake there, my, my mistake. But anyways... He does pose good, and he does look good, and I was able to hide, unfortunately, look at the timing, that when the, the joint right there, that little ball joint, but I was able to hide most of the, all the other ones in a good way where he kind of, damn, man, this looks so damn cool. This is one thing, like I said, I wasn't expecting much from this dude. Um, I'm trying, usually I try to go over the negative things first. Um, negative, just I wish he had more articulation like at the, at the twist at the elbow or at the bicep. Doesn't have that... Um, can't think of anything else, man. I like to pay on him. That's really about it. I want to make sure I had that mask on because he looks like a way, like a much better ass Vega. And I want to make sure I got both weapons in him because that's just the way I would, you know, if that was me, I had that cool mask. I made sure I had both weapons, one from distance, one for up close and stuff. But man, I'm having fun posing this figure. I want to do usually the second portion is where I do the positives. So I want to add. Two things I found out. One, the elbows actually do twist. It's just my other one is a little tighter than the other. I just realized that when I was moving the elbow with the hand, the arm that has a sword currently right now. So they do twist. You just got to be careful because the my other one is tight. I'm going to have to just probably heat that up just to get it loose like a twisted. Another thing is with these weapons, a cool feature that they added with these weapons is like SH, uh, SH Figure Arts does. Basically, the hilts detach. So you can basically slide that into the hands that hold the weapon smooth and easily with have no without any issues of paint rub or just you know just the sword or the weapon being loose. It happens at the sword and at the spear. It's at the top of the spear right there. So you just detach that portion and just slide that pole right through the hands and then put that spear tip back on. But man, this guy looks so damn cool. This might be my final pole. As much as I like, I love like this his cocky, smirky, and laughing face. That's what I know him more for, but this damn mask is so cool, and just the weapons. This may be my final pose. I keep them in my display, but I don't know, but I'm having a lot of fun posing this guy. Um, I can't think of anything really negative, honestly. Like, just maybe, I don't know, just maybe twisted the bicep, but now that the elbows do twist, like, I can get away with certain poses, so I'm, I'm actually, I don't see anything wrong with this guy at this point right now, so this is definitely a sleeper on me. I wasn't expecting this guy to be, a, you know, a cool figure to play around with and to pose but man he got me with that body shot and it surprised me finally we have thouser battling kenshiro the fist of the north star to the death as Rao is in the background the big brother waiting for the victor so he can basically take on them in the weakened state but will they really be weakened we shall see or we shall never know but anyways, man, this figure is freaking cool, man. Like, I was not expecting, like I said before, I was not expecting much from this one. I honestly got the notification that, you know, it arrived. I had to do the final payment, or I guess paid it for the shipping. I forgot what, I got how, yeah, I paid for the shipping. So, I was going to cancel it, but I was like, you know what? Uh, I was like, you know what? I haven't gotten one of these in a while. Uh, I, I want to kind of finish the line because I do love Fist of the North Star. Oh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll get it. So I basically, you know, paid for it, came in. And man, I am so happy that I did do that. Uh, if you're on the fence with this one, man, and if you do collect this line, I will say pick this figure up, man. This figure, just the posability of him, 
the different looks you can have with him with the with the mask on and the mask off the different face reaction he has the effects he has right here oh man like it, it like, like I said, I wasn't expecting, and he just freaking, like, just he surprised the crap out of me, man. I'm super surprised. I'm happy I, I got him, and I think they're going to look cool once the line is complete, or at least the ones I do want to get. It's, they're going to look awesome together. This guy, these guys, could, I got to see, it's making me want to mess around with the other ones now to see if they hold the same posability, man, because this guy poses good, man. I love posing this guy. I'm going to have more fun with this guy posing. Probably going to have some shorts and some reels coming short with these guys. But yeah, man, this is a cool figure. If you're on the fence, like I said before, if you collect the line or you like this character or Fist of North Star, I would say definitely pick him up. If you don't know anything about this, but you know, it is, it's your choice. But to me, this is a cool figure. Happy I did pick it up. Um, I can't wait for the line to continue, see who we get next. And you'll definitely see a review of that when they come in because I'm going to be getting these. All right, Collectors, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please hit that like, subscribe button. Click that bell notification and let your friends know about the channel. Share with your friends. And hey, let's have fun unboxing these figures and let's keep doing this. So with that, keep collecting, stay safe, be good, dial it.